Tonight we have a Martinez cigar. This is the Don Antonio Escogito Torpedo MK2 Maduro. It wow. Is a <laughs> it's a five and a half by 50. Brazilian wrapper, Sumatra binder, Dominican and Nicaraguan fillers. It is earthy and aromatic with a touch of almond. It is aromatic. The spirit, would you like to tell us the spirit? Spirit, tonight we're having the Elijah Craig Small Batch con Straight Kentucky Whiskey, 94 proof. All right, cue the music. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into the 2020 season of Cigars, Liquor, and More. As we join our buddies Bill Howdy. and our other brother Daryl. Smoke up, Johnny. In the backyard speakeasy as they discover their thoughts on cigars, liquor, and anything else that comes to mind. All right. Anything, everything. We have no chilling cubes tonight. We're doing it warm. Ideally something. <laughs> All right. So let's get this guy cut. <laughs> So we've got a product of Heaven Hill Distillery here. Yes, nicely, 94 proof. Mm, mash built of corn, barley, rye, and it, wheat in a sour mash. It is pretty heavenly. Yes. Uh, you know, they don't, they don't publish the percents, though. But uh, malted barley, I like it when barley's in there. This is a number three barrel char on the nose. It has notes of vanilla, sweet fruit, and fresh mint. I've never gotten mint from this. Tastes uh, woody with accents of spice, smoke, and nutmeg. It finishes long, sweet, and toasty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> toasty. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Long, sweet, and okay. toasty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, whenever they say toasty, I always think they mean literally toast. Like, you know, that burnt bread kind of flavor. That's what I keep expecting. But that's not very common. No, I, I think of it as something that's... Anything could be toasted, right? I guess. So, um, <laughs> you, I had to order these from them. They're, I mean, they're just not everywhere. There's a small boutique brand. Martina Cigars is headquartered in New York City and New celebrating City. its 45th year in operation. It's small and family owned and in, uh, hmm, in uh, celebration of their 45th year, they're going to make a number 45. So the 45 oh. series, uh, I don't see it on the website yet. I don't think it's available just yet. I'm going to ask them about that when we get our interview. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, they have four lines, and the Dan Antonio is the only one I've had so far. But I plan on going through the rest of them. So we got our new uh, coffee mugs in. Yeah. Done done got properly. Those. Labels labels in the right places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, I like the big boy cups. I know you do. <laughs> You know, you're like, if I'm going to drink a cup of coffee, it's going to be basically two cups of coffee. I'm not messing around with this half a cup of coffee you call eight Actually, ounces. That's not the case right now because I'm working from my living, my, my dining room. Oh, I thought that was the joke, was that you had to walk into the kitchen and you no. didn't have, literally have one at your desk. No, but I like my Say coffee. Say la vie. I like my coffee. Everybody likes their coffee. <laughs> People who are passionate about coffee are passionate about coffee. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're like cigar people. A little mm. bit. Except it's ninety five percent of the population <laughs> instead of three. <laughs> and and liquor people. Mm. People like a particular type of drink. That's, that's true. What they like. It's true. My workplace also said no more liquor bottles on your desk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they kind of frown. They're like upon you have now. to go to the common area. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry and wine only. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. This is a wonderful day. It is nice. Wonderful day. Very nice. Mm. So I, f yeah, I no. wanted to look up a little more about Elijah Craig because I found it to be interesting. It's, it's considered the oldest and per perhaps the father of bourbon. Uh, what I didn't realize is that he has the name Elijah for a very good reason. He's a Baptist preacher. That's uh, a good name for a Baptist, pre yeah. Baptist preacher. Elijah Craig was a Baptist preacher, uh, created Elijah Craig Bourbon Distillery in 1789. Because you know those Baptists. Yeah. They, so like, this, they like their whiskey. This particular bottle is sort of uh, the bottom line of Elijah Craig. I think it's like 25 bucks. Um, it's still good. And everything moves up from there. You got, you know, different ages. It's really got <laughs> this one. But I just thought that was pretty cool. I, lo I love that a Baptist preacher started a distillery. 
that is running to the day. I love it. You know, from now on, I think I'm going to warm the coffee mug, <laughs> put the liquor in the coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's starting to warm up. Be, be, be a little bit more like Johnny Carson. So I got that thin bottom glass to warm it up. You can see it's getting warm. And, uh, as it, as it, oh, uh, it's getting much fruitier. As it sloshes around. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. And the fruit. I'm liking the Martinez. Oh, yeah. And look at that. That burn's perfect. Perfect burn. Of course, perfect light. You know, let it burn. Well, yeah, I didn't. Uh-oh. And the side the side that I got the flame too much on uh-huh. is that side. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, I like this, though. It I is. Could. It's earthy, aromatic, just a touch of almond. But not like the uh, not like the almond, like the nut almond, like the uh, like the artificial almond, you know. Surely not almond, almond milk. E- almond e- <laughs> like an almond extract. Oh my god! Even almond milk doesn't taste like almond. Uh, Instagram. Oy. Fortune should be a national pastime. It is. Have I seen what? Have you seen Martinez on Instagram? They put up videos of their rollers. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. So I am a new Instagram member. (laughs) I finally, finally joined Instagram. So, uh, yes, Martinez is one of the ones that I, uh, I have. I'm, I'm a bit behind compared to others, but, uh, yeah. It Uh, looks like they got, let me get the light from you. Looks like they got like four rollers and you just see them. God bless. (laughs) Yeah. Six feet is a long way. Yeah, it is. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Summer but it looks like they're here. having a good time. I'm sure they show them having a good time on Instagram. Like you can take your best side then, right? But uh, they're just smoking and rolling. If, if, if I can smoke and roll, yeah, I'd be having a good time too. <laughs> well, losing my job, I r- if only we unbelievably yeah. high unemployment because of all this crap. Of course, uh, we interviewed Vinny in episode twenty-five. Twenty-five. Go back and pay attention to that episode. Boys Very girls, much so. Because uh, he hit the market at the right time. If uh, you don't are, know whether you should or should not pull the trigger on declaring bankruptcy, he will tell you when. Because yep. that's the point is a lot of people wait too long and they waste more money than they should have. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're um, Martinez Cigars. We're out of uh, New York City. Uh, we are located at 171 West uh, 29th Street here in uh, Chelsea in the part of Manhattan. Uh, we've been open since 1974. Uh, we're going on our 46 year uh, being in business. And we started with um, uh, Antonio Martinez was the founder of the company. And currently it's being run by his son, Jesus. We have four lines that we introduce to retail shops, but we have five all together. So to start off, the ones we sell in the store that are exclusively to the factory is a New York City blend. Uh, that is a Dominican Nicaraguan blend a Sumatra binder and a Cameroon wrap. Yes. Uh, the other lines that we provide to all the retail stores that we're getting out to across the country, uh, I'll start off with our, our most mildest one. Um, it is the Don Antonio series, which comes in both a Maduro and a Connecticut shade wrapper. Um, our second line is the flat iron box press series. It's a Nicaraguan blend. Uh, the Nicaraguan blend is Nicaraguan, filler binder and then we offered in a natural wrapper and also a maduro wrapper it's box press really earthy creamy has a lot of nice notes on there everybody else um, um our really third line that we offer is called our passion series our passion series is more of a medium to full as well but more on a full side um it's a uh, nicaraguan doors blend with a sumatra binder and a Ecuadorian wrapper. Um, you know, but I didn't see the 45 online, so maybe is that a limited release, not always available, or is, like you said, just available to shops? Uh, no, the 40, the 45 is on is on the website. Um, it's just uh, under the cigars uh, tag. Um, I'll make sure to, that it's on there to make sure it's okay, easier for okay. to see. Okay, But it, it is in there. Um, we were going, we were thinking about doing it as a limited series, but the response that we received from it um, made us decide that you know we need to keep it in our in, in our um, in our circle and really come out with it because that's really what's putting our name out there now is that 45 series and it's it's making a an entrance to the rest of the cigars that we do make. 
So wow. yeah, the 45 is definitely going to be part of our cigar family for from now to to whatever. Right. Well, like, like <laughs> yeah, it's one of the things that we really make sure we focus on. Um, it's not more about the quantity that we put out. It's all about quality. Um, we have rollers and blenders that are with us that have over 25 years experience within with each of them. Um, they've all worked at the big factories in the Dominican Republic. And when they came here to live, they came to work for us. And it's one of the things that we sets us apart from everyone else is that we have a long history in the cigar, in the cigar industry, in terms of how we create it, what goes into it, the thought process and the, the structure of the cigar. Yes. Um, uh, do you have anything else on the horizon? Is there some mm -hmm. other, Hey, we've got this, that's kind of interesting. It's in, you know, the testing phases and maybe in October or something like that. Anything on the horizon? Mm -hmm. We do. We actually have something that we are working on. Um, mm -hmm. We were hoping to get it out by May, but with this current situation sure. in the world right now, it's on a little bit of a hold. But we are coming out with something called the Brick and Mortar Series. Um, the Brick and Mortar Series is a cigar series that will be well will come out twice a year, one in the fall, one in the spring. And it's similar to what craft beers do. It's a seasonal cigar right. that changes every every six months. Um, and it will be offered just for brick and mortar stores. So we're um, slowly but surely getting out there and uh, hopefully be in more than a handful of stores going in the next couple of months. All right. That, that's good. And now I guess for now, people know at least three places they can call and yes. get a hold of uh, difficult to find Martinez cigars. Yes. Or if not, just go to martinezcigars.com. Uh, put your order in. We're still shipping out. And um We'll get those out to you right away, and you'll have them in your mailbox within two to three days of you ordering it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming on and sharing with us uh, some new news and uh, a little more information on Martinez Cigars because they are good. I recommend um, you guys <laughs> you. go try some. <laughs> thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, go to the Martinez Cigars Instagram. You'll see uh, what Daryl's talking about with our uh, – with our party that we have every week almost so but yes check us check us out so and we were super uh, happy I'll be sending you those. that they extended the equivalency date to uh september september 9th ish um also note that your taxes are no longer due on on april 15th they're now due july 15th i don't know if that's true for all state taxes though so check that yeah so they get, they're gonna give a 60-day grace period on license renewals so seeing a is how much like, yeah. smog is going down Oh, I bet. Uh huh. <laughs> Alice, and there's dozens of news stories. You name them. I've seen some from Guardian, Reuters, tons of them. All of them are releasing it. Uh, and I know it's not a surprise. I, turns, out, turn, turns out a pandemic is really good for the environment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Stop pouring concrete. Mm -hmm. If you stop pouring concrete, things get better. It says the guy who poured 3,000 square feet of concrete. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care. So there is one place. That the smog is getting worse. China? That, that's in, <laughs> yes. That's in Wuhan. Uh, and the reason it's going up is because the sulfur dioxide concentrations are skyrocketing. Sulfur dioxide is associated with burning organic material like um, bodies. They estimate that they've burned 50,000 bodies. You mean the... <laughs> Yeah, the, the multi-tens of thousands that they yeah. don't say that they've yeah. tried so that. They've been <laughs> that sounds crazy. So what you're saying is, <laughs> have my milk with breakfast and my liquor with lunch? <laughs> sounds wrong. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's uh, wrap it up. So. Oh. Well, in quick summary, excellent cigar, great pairing. Love the Elijah Craig when it's warm. I don't know, you got any summations you want to throw in there? If you haven't tried the Elijah Craig, do it. If you haven't tried the Martinez, definitely do it. Uh, great pairing all the way around. If you're in trouble economically, check out episode 25. Look up Vinny. Yep, do it. Vinny LeBeau. I feel better. Hell yeah. <laughs>